How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you a specific problem with the ZP450 and how to fix it. Anytime you open the printer head and close it, you get a blinking light and you have to press this and it feeds one label. Or if you turn the printer off or a power surge at your house and it power cycles for some reason, you turn the printer back on. As soon as it boots up, it's going to feed a bunch of labels. I think it's like four or five labels. It ends up spitting out four labels after a power cycle, which is really, really annoying. But Zebra does it for a specific reason. It basically is calibrating the printer, making sure that the correct media is in it, that it's the same as it was before. But there's a way to turn this setting off if you're not changing your labels and keeping the same format. And I recommend you turn it off just to save labels to just make it less annoying. So I'm gonna explain exactly what's going on with this. But before that, if you kindly hit the thumbs up button, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to hit this front feed button when it's a solid green light for one blink, I'm holding it down, blink, and it's gonna print me a configuration label. As you can see right here, it says media power up and the printer says that the setting is calibration. Head close is to feed one label and we need to change those settings to say no feed and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Unfortunately, if you are using this printer on an Android phone or you're using it on a Mac computer, you're not gonna be able to change the settings from those devices. You actually do need a Windows PC. So sorry if that is a disappointment, but you have to get into a Windows PC in order to configure this printer. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. I have the printer already plugged in and it's already installed on my computer. I'm assuming it's already installed on your computer as well. That being said, thank you for watching and let's get into the computer. We're gonna go down here to our finder and type in printers and open up printers and scanners system settings. Look for your Zebra ZP450. There's mine right here. It's a Zebra ZP450 CTP. We're gonna click on that. Go to manage, go to printer properties. And right here, it will tell you which driver you have. This is the Seagull bartender driver. We're going to go here to tools and there are some drop downs right here. And if you didn't know this was here, you wouldn't know. So we're gonna go over here to configure go to configure printer and right here it says media feed action. You're going to want to put it on no feed and head close. You're gonna to wanna to change it to no feed. After you change that setting, hit okay. Then go over here to action, the drop down read printer information. It'll take a couple seconds and go over to configuration. And as you can see right here, you can see the setting media power up now says no motion, head close, no motion before it said calibration and feed when we printed out our printer configuration and you can hit close apply and okay and now just to prove that this is indeed working i'm going to turn off the printer turn it back on and as it boots you're not going to have the four label calibration as we did before you can see i just got the green light printer is on it is good to go if i open the top of the printer and then close it again. It will blink, but if I press it, it will just get it into ready status. It does not have to feed that one label like it did on the default settings. Hopefully this video was helpful. I know I've gotten a lot of questions specifically about this issue on this printer, so I'm happy to finally get it out. I will be coming out with the same solution for some other printer models. It's slightly different depending on the printer but hopefully this was able to help you. If you have any other questions about this specific printer or any other printer models, put them in the comment section below. Thank you again for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.